welcome back. My name is Louis from AV Europe and I'm going to show you how to wire up your EV hype in your vehicle. Right here we have our setup with the two batteries connected to the EV hype and I'm going to show you how to connect your lap connector with the 17 colors in your vehicle. This cable is run through our test box which is right here and I've numbered each cable from 1 to 17 on these blocks. Uh, for now you can ignore these two which are the minus of the 12 volt and the plus of the 12 volt. Uh, these are just in here because this is our test box and this will be your normal 12 volt battery. So all of these red cables here are connected to here. Um, the only thing you need to uh, assemble or wire up for your EV hype to get it running is number one, which is the red cable, is the key SI, which will go to your key switch. And as soon as you turn the key and it will see 12 volts, that's the position where you want to wire up this one. Number two is the yellow cable, which is your start pulse. So when you turn your key switch into start to for your normal engine, there you want to wire up the, this cable. Those are the two which will turn on the EV hype. Number five, six and seven are the gray, black and the red one with the white stripe are for your uh, throttle box or pod meter. So when the first two clicks on this uh, key switch are for the 12 volts which will be now on the red wire and then we give a start pulse on the yellow wire and then you can see on your EV hype that the LED is turning on. You hear the main contactor click in and you hear this zoom which means the contactor is on and you have a green thumbs up and your motor will be able to spin. Um, when you see the shaft on the back, we now have uh, also a throttle input with our uh, pod meter, so it will be able to turn on its own. Right now it's turning very slow and uh, we have it in our test setup loose, but in your vehicle you will be able to drive it like this. So that's everything you need to make sure your uh, EV hype will be able to run. And now I will show you the rest of the cables and how to connect each of them. On number three we have the purple wire which is the drive output which I will put in. This will go to your buzzer in your vehicle. Um, you connect it to a door switch which I have now turned off because it's much easier to talk. So when your door is closed uh, you will have no contact and when your door is open, it will automatically give a buzz, so you know your vehicle is turned on. Uh, you will need to put this in your vehicle for the R100 uh, rules for electric vehicles. I will connect disconnect this now, just so we can talk uh, without any noise. On number 4, we have the white cable with the green stripe on it, which is only one green stripe, so make sure you don't mess it, mix it up with number 10. And number four, also on this side, we have connected white with green. And when I follow the wire, it's going to this switch. This will make sure your vehicle or the EV hype will be turned into the reverse direction, which I can show you here. Normally the EV hype is turned in forward mode. And when we switch it like this, you will put 12 volt plus on that wire, on wire four, and then it will be in reverse. Number 5, 6 and 7 are for the throttle, uh, your wiper, your minus and your plus. Then we have number 8, which is for your brake. You can put it on your brake light or your brake switch in your vehicle. And for this test setup, we have put it on a switch right here, which is also just getting 12 volt on this side. And when you press the brake, uh, you uh, EV hype won't be able to turn and you give full throttle. This will also give the EV hype input that it's braking, so the regen will be turned on on the value you will set it. So when I give it an input on the pod meter, the engine will start spinning again, and when I press the brake, it will uh, stop and it will regen brake for you, so you can give energy back to your batteries. And when you release the brake again, it will start turning in on the value the gas is at, uh, set at that time. Uh, number 15 is the green wire, which is the CP, which will go to your charging plug. 
which I connect right here for now. And the blue wire number 16 is also going to a charge plug, which you can see right here. It will be these two. Uh, for this video, we'll show you all the numbers and colors right here in these blocks. But in your normal vehicle, you will need to solder uh, it onto the rail cable and make sure uh, everything is connected properly. Number 17 is the yellow one with a blue stripe on it. That is a small blue stripe. And make sure you don't mix it up with number two. This is a spare pin which we will be able to connect uh, to different options, uh, what you want, like an extra profile or even cooling fans or your EV hype. Right here you have the overview of all the 17 colors. Again, um, we have all connected them right now here. Uh, I will show you one final thing, which is the throttle box we have right here. Um, this will be used in most of the fields instead of a pop meter like we have. This has three wires, a white, black and a red one, which will go to the 5, 6 and 7 uh, number cables in here. Normally you would solder these right onto them. So the three colors of the throttle box are the white, which will go into number 5, the gray cable. Number 6, black, will go on black and red will go on red, white, which is number 7. Right now I will show you the complete progress of it while running. I will start the engine, our drive signal will turn on, we hear the main contactor click in and the bus, and we have our throttle right here. Right now it's in forward, so the engine will turn forward into the speed we will give it. When I put it in electric reverse, it will turn the opposite direction in a limited speed, which is given in the program, which we can change to your like. As you can see, I can give full throttle and it won't go any faster because it's limited. Then we have mechanical reverse, which is when you put the car in reverse with your normal shifter. Uh, the, the motor will turn the same direction, but it's also limited, like electric reverse, so you don't go too fast in the reverse. As you can see, I can give more gas or throttle input, and it will not go any faster because it's limited. So that is how you connect all the cables from the lap stacker, all the 17 colors. Um, make sure when you use electric reverse, brake or mechanical reverse that you put it on a plus 12 volt signal. So for instance if you want to use your brake light make sure you put this cable number 8, the brown one, on the plus 12 volt of the brake light. So that's it for today. Uh, hope everything was clear for you and you will be able to connect your EV hype yourself. Uh, thanks for watching and check the other videos if you have any questions.